we are given an inorganic chemical substance. The first question which would probably arise to your mind is what chemical substance is it? What sort of cation does it have? And what sort of anion does it have? So the answers to these questions would probably be given by me. Hi guys, I'm Adim and this channel is called Ways Adim. Today I'll be doing the chromyl chloride test to detect the presence of a chloride ion in a given salt. So I have, uh, so I'll put on the safety surface. Uh, I have some potassium dichromate with me. And please be careful while handling this potassium dichromate. Put your safety gear on because it contains CR6 plus which is carcinogenic in nature. You can see that it has a very good orange color. It is a very good crystal. And uh, I have some sulfuric acid with me which is concentrated. And sodium, sodium hydroxide. And I have a chloride with me here. In this case I have taken some sodium chloride. It is a very good crystal too, a white crystal. This bromine chloride test consists of three steps. The first step is the production of the chromide chloride gas and second st step is the uh, addition of sodium hydroxide and third, test, third step is the uh, addition of a lead salt. And uh, all that you have to do is make a good mix of potassium dichromate and sodium uh, chloride or uh, the chloride which you are taking in this case the sodium chloride first take the potassium dichromate and grind it well and the chloride which you are taking grind that well uh, that salt well too and then mix both of them and grind it grind both of them together uh, you can see that it has a yellowish maybe orangish yellow color I'll add this to the test tube and make sure that your test tube is perfectly dry because the chromine chloride which is produced is hydrolyzed by water and make sure that uh, your test tube does not have any organic uh, substance uh, in it or uh, probably yeah, if you have a new test tube, that's ex excellent for this thing. So I'll be adding some concentrated sulfuric, sulfuric acid. Make sure you put your dropper well into the test tube just above the and release the sulfuric acid just above the salt. You can see that good reddish brown colored gas is produced. It's very much different from the nitrogen dioxide. The nitrogen dioxide and these this chromyl chloride gas can be differentiated easily due to its characteristic color. If I put it on a white background, you could probably see it well. Uh, this reaction was almost instantaneous. Can you see the gases flowing out? It has a very good, almost reddish color. You can see that the gas has a good concentration at the bottom and uh, this reaction is basically carried out at 117 degrees uh, Celsius. So um, unfortunately I could not get uh, that temperature accurately but fortunately the reaction uh, has a good uh, uh, good you no. Know, it has a the reaction goes good at room temperature too. I'll take this some of this chromine chloride in another test tube. So 
so we are done with the first step of our chromatographic test and in the second step i have taken some chromatographic chloride gas in another test tube i'll be adding some sodium hydroxide to it or else you can uh, add the sodium hydroxide to the same test tube Uh, in which we are carrying the reaction, but I wanted to show the intense color of chromic chloride, so that's why I had taken in, in a different test tube. Yeah. Add some water to it so that we get a good volume. You can see that uh, at the bottom there is a formation of yellow colored solution. I'll add some water to it so that you guys can see it well. Yeah, you can see that there is a formation of yellow color sol uh, yellow colored solution. That's nothing but the sodium chlorate sodium chromate. Sorry, this thing concludes our second step of our reaction. And in the third step, unfortunately, I don't have any lead salt. Uh, so if you take this chromic chloride, uh, if you take this yellow color solution and add some lead salt to it, preferably lead acetate, you will probably get a yellow colored precipitate. Unfortunately, I don't have any lead salt with me, so I'm sorry for that. I'll I'll show you the mechanism. This is a multi-step reaction. Uh, we have our chloride in this case sodium chloride on reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid it gives us sodium bisulfate or probably sodium sulfate and it gives us the volatile hcl gas this gas this uh, chemical or uh, this compound is the compound which we want for a reaction this these are the by products this is the by product by product which is sodium bisulfate And I have uh, I have taken the orange colored potassium dichromate, and it reacts with the sulfuric acid to give us chromium trioxide, uh, which is an intermediate for this reaction, and water and sodium, uh, sorry, and potassium bisulfate. These two are byproducts. I want this intermediate or uh, this compound for my next step, and this HCl reacts with this. Chromium trioxide to give us two moles of HCl reacts with one mole of chromium trioxide to give us chromium chloride, which is nothing but CrO2Cl2, which uh, I've also, which is the reddish colored gas which we had seen, and there's some water formed too, uh, which is a which is a byproduct, and this chromium chloride in the this was the first step of the reaction. And uh, in the second step, this chromium chloride reacts with the sodium hydroxide and uh, chrome uh, to give us sodium chromate, which is Na2CrO4. This is the yellow colored compound which which had given this solution a yellow color. This is the this is the compound due to which the solution turned yellow. And there's some water formed, and there's some sodium chloride too as a byproduct. And in this third step, unfortunately, I could not get uh, this thing. So let us let salt. This sodium chromate reacts with that lead salt to give a uh, lead chromate, which is a yellow colored precipitate. This is the solution, and uh, this is how we can detect any chloride. This step is uh, only for detection of chloride. You can't detect any other hal halide. For example, you can't detect any other bromide, iodide, or fluoride with this test. This is uh, specially for the chloride. And uh, that's it from my side in this video. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, comment, and please do subscribe. Thank you.